What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Division 2, and I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't think the Division 2 could do it, but somehow, they simultaneously made it so they pissed off the PvP, PvE, and even Dark Zone grinders. Wow. So... Before we get into all that, guys, if you guys would like to, friendly reminder that you guys can go down and click that sub button and that bell if you enjoy this video to be notified on every single one of my Division 2 videos and onward. But with all that being said, guys, we're going to hop right into it. We're not going to cover all of the things coming in the next patch, but we're going to talk about a lot of the bigger changes that are kind of going to have a major effect on some of the players inside of this game. So we're going to talk about quite a few things in this. So sit back, relax, and watch the rest of this video. And, you know, you know, you know, enjoy it. You know, if you want, you know, it's your choice. But yeah, that's not the point. Normalization. Now, normalization always seemed kind of weird to me, and I didn't really understand a lot of it, but they kind of are making normalization uh, make a little bit more sense. They're going to normalize everybody to gear score 500, but they're going to make it so there is no real build for it, which is weird. Uh, but they are respecting the rolls on your gear, which means that you, if you add an item with a very high crit chance, it's going to be like that in normalized content. So that's that's cool I, but also creates a kind of weird aspect i this whole time i thought that that's what was going on but apparently it's just i guess your base crit chance or whatever I, i'm i'm actually not very positive on what that actually means to be to be completely 100 and transparent with you guys all i know is is that if i have the higher crit chance than with you than you on my weapon it's gonna show so that's pretty cool i'm pretty uh I, i'm pretty excited to hop back into pvp for that regard but there is a couple of things that i noticed when i was skimming through this earlier that I don't necessarily like, so we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Now, disclaimer, this is probably not the worst thing for a lot of the normal type of casual PvP players of the Division 2, but more of the PvP grinders that are going to be affected by this. So, that's what I mean by this is a problem. I realize that some of us might not see this as a problem, but we have to think about the other players that are actually smacking it right now inside of PvP that are going to be very, very unhappy when this patch drops. Now, skill power is also going to be respected. And when the mods are active in PvE, they will also be active in normalized content. So all the mods that you'll be using based on your skill power are also going to be in there because I know that they're making some adjustments and allowing for more people to be able to spec into skill power and make it more 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 worthwhile. So you'll be able to use your gear inside of that too because I don't know about you guys, but when I put down my flame turret and it lights somebody up for like 500 damage and they have like 70,000 armor, it really doesn't affect them as much as I want to. So yeah. Now, global PvP modifiers is something that we're going to talk about that really does kind of affect the ebb and flow and the way people are going to be playing PvP. The PvP damage modifier will be reduced from 70% to 40% and that will bring the time to kill down to what you experience in PvE. This way you have more time to react. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I get melted in PvE too. Now, you could say that it's probably my build, which I will grant you it probably is, but either way, I still get melted, so it's not really going to have that much of an effect, but tanky builds are gonna work oh wait they changed normalization so it probably won't work so i'm not sure what the point of this is but huge huge damage reduction uh in my personal opinion a whole 30 percent which is absolutely nuts skill damage modifiers will be increased from 20 to 25 percent so skills will be a little bit more effective and overall encounters should last longer overall and the skills should be more useful which means gunfights are gonna last longer games are gonna last longer and it's probably uh gonna be pretty ass but that's just my personal opinion i'm definitely definitely throughout this whole thing i'm definitely uh like very curious what you guys will be thinking about when it comes to you and your future in the pvp in the dark zone or in the division two but uh yeah that's pretty much it now on to dark zone pvp modifiers this is not as important we have a lot more other changes uh to talk about um they added specific occupied dark zone PvP modifiers. Currently, it sits at 40%, same as the normalized dark zone, but they have the ability to specifically fine tune the the operated or occupied dark zone depending on how things change. Um, so, you know, time to kill is going to go down inside the occupied dark zone too. So, you can't get your rocks off in the occupied dark zone if you guys aren't having as much fun in PvP. The last thing that I want to talk about when it comes to PvP is the fact that in PvP content, you will not be able to crit when you hip fire. Um, 
I don't know. A lot of people don't hit fire in this game, but I have come a little bit more accustomed to it, especially in situations where uh, I like to run a shotgun and I like to run an SMG. And, you know, I use the same Fortnite tactics sometimes where I use a shotgun and then I always, like, if you're at low enough health, I spray it. And, you know, the crits, being able to crit is a very effective thing. But now I know that it doesn't, I don't have to. So I can, I can kind of fine tune my aim to be more body shots because it doesn't matter anyways. But, you know, to each his own. Now, Dark Zone is getting a nerf to loot changes. Um, so, Dark Zone and Occupy Dark Zone will drop less clean loot and more contaminated loot. They want players to engage in the loot extraction loop. So, they want to kind of turn it into a way for us to get back to the original where uh, or, or contaminated loot is more important. Uh, because you know people are gonna fight you for it because if you're extracting it it might be you know pretty important so that and the fact that they're going to be dropping uh, 515 gear is very important especially if you guys want to be absolutely raid ready 515 is your max that you should be trying to hit so definitely going to be something and definitely going to be very interesting how the dark zone kind of changes and you know shapes itself throughout the rest of you know this this update and things like that until they make even more changes uh, one thing I also want to talk about in this is the fact that I once again want to reiterate that this isn't necessarily the worst thing because I personally would have would love it to go back to Division 1 type of days where everybody was always on your ass and you had to fight for everything that you wanted to get out. That is a lot of people arming right now uh when it comes to the dark zone and so this is kind of like a weird thing uh so they're gonna have to do more extractions you know cutting down on their farming time and stuff like that so uh so next up guys uh another big change to it is that they're going to be preventing empty dark zones uh, with the empty dark zones, I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of problems with this when it came to uh, going into lobbies and it uh, absolutely being empty. And like, I don't mind there being not a lot of people, but they're going to make it so there is a lot more players. In fact, they say that they plan to mo uh, to make multiple changes to guarantee that you encounter 12 players in a dark zone instance. They're reducing the amount of dark zone brackets to two. Everyone below character level 30 and everybody in in game. So you will be in a bracket of the most amount of players that you can be. You know, if you're a 259, you will increase, you will see players that are 500. So that's going to be very interesting, especially for newer players. I personally think this is a bad idea, but you know, if you don't like it, don't go into the dark zone. It's about as simple as that, but it's all normalized unless you're in the occupied dark zone. So basically just stay away from the occupied dark zone. That's, that's actually how you can get rid of that. Um, so not all of these changes, they want to reiterate, not all these changes will be implemented with title update three. There's more in the queue down the line. So not all of this stuff is going to be happening exactly in the next update, but there are some major changes that are potentially going to cause major problems, especially in the dark zone slash PVP community. Like it's, it's, it's weird and I'm hoping that it does it for the best, but I also don't like the two brackets inside the dark zone, but we came up with a solution right here, guys. You guys came up with it with me and now we all know so if you don't like getting your booty stomped then don't go into the occupied dark zone try to stick to the normalized dark zones and so maybe just maybe you have a uh, you have a chance to survive dun, dun, dun. now the last thing i kind of want to talk to you guys about is when it comes to pve um actually actually i scratched that uh oh you know what there is a couple of pvp things i forgot to tell you guys about this I should have probably did PVE first, but you know, we, we, we make some mistakes around here. But the point is, is that a lot of perks and talents are going to be made useless. And that is what's very frustrating. Now we're gonna talk about a couple of things uh, that are going to be changed. Just the big ones that we are commonly seeing used, some of the best talents that we've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about and things like that. And these are going to be the things that are changed amongst other things, but we're just gonna talk about a couple because there's actually quite a few. But first things first, guys, Strained is getting a nerf. Sadly, it is. Um, the missing armor requirement is now 10% instead of 5%. So what that means is that your damage does increase, but it's every 10%. They added a whole 5%. So that is going to change the ebb and flow of your gunfights quite a bit. But if you guys have been checking out other YouTubers, some other YouTubers uh, have been saying that you guys should just go ahead and go all in on damage anyway. So quite a few of you might not even be worried about this. Um, a lot of you old heads that have been playing the game since day one are, are, are might be stubborn and might be still using strained. But, you know, aside from that, you know, you guys probably won't have very much of a problem. Now, safeguard. 
Now, Safeguard is another perk that's pretty fun and pretty good to use. Um, but the problem is, is that they've not only made it a segment that instead of it taking five, it takes four to the offensive, uh, the bar, and it also reduces the healing bonus to 50% when it was at 75. So that's kind of an annoying one too. And along with clutch, clutch is increased health gained per critical hit to 20% instead of 15%, reduced armor gained per critical to 1% instead of 2%. So you did get an increase of health for this one, but you have to lose armor at a slower rate. It's not every two, it's every one. So that's a big nerf in my opinion. That one doesn't seem like such a big nerf, but it's one that you'll see in the actual like heat of the battle. Berserk. P in PvE, the 10% weapon damage for every 20% of max armor depleted is now 10%. So it got nerfed in even PvE. Well, it only got nerfed in PvE now that I take a second look at that. So that's one thing I just wanted to go ahead and say. But it requires 11 offensive attributes in order to use it. So there is no using Berserk and Strain at the same time at all. Those are not synergized to your build anymore. They are absolutely unable to be, you know, used together. And that's what the problem is from them changing all of these talents. That's the bigger picture. What, whatever talent you guys are thinking about or whatever talents that you guys are using right now, you guys, after these updates drop, you guys are going to have to go look at your stuff because it's going to ruin builds. It's going to completely take away synergy from certain builds and it's going to make overall builds less effective i don't know why they would make this type of decision i don't know if it's a broader spectrum trying to gain more skill power and take away more offense and armor and things like that or if it's all in all them just trying to nerf character builds because they feel like we're breezing through content too easy i'm absolutely not sure i would love though to hear your comments in the um comment section down below so if you guys enjoyed this video you guys already know what to do. Leave a like down below as well as click that sub button and that bell. And make sure, like I said, guys, you tell me your thoughts on these changes down in the uh, comment section so I know what you guys think and so we can have a conversation about it. Um, and with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.